in Calvary Chapel, we have a high view of God's word. And there have been times when I've been criticized of worshiping the Father, the Son, and the Holy Bible. And that uh, somehow, uh, I've even been criticized of quenching the Spirit uh, because we don't allow people to act in strange ways. Um, calling attention to themselves or doing things that they think are spiritual when in fact it's not spiritual, it really is goofy. I mean, might as well call it what it is, right? It's just strange. You know, when people look at you and go, that's kind of weird. It takes the attention off of God and it puts it on you. And therefore, it's not biblical. And so because we honor God's word, we want to experience what the Bible has. And there's enough in the Bible to experience. Joy unspeakable and full of glory. Are you experiencing that? How about experiencing that? Focusing on getting that. Abundant life. Are you experiencing that? How about experiencing that? Ultimate freedom in the Holy Spirit. Are you experiencing that? Are you experiencing God's power to heal and restore relationships and bring forgiveness and reconciliation? Are you experiencing that? Are you experiencing his power to heal your sick body? Are you experiencing that? Or even raising people from the dead? Are you experiencing that? Are you experiencing the life-giving spirit? Are you experiencing all that God has for you? And so here we focus on what God says and what he wants us to experience through his word. And I don't look for other experiences to somehow validate my relationship with God. That, oh, I had this wonderful time at church and I had all these amazing experiences, therefore I'm close to God. It's like, no, that doesn't validate my experience with God. What validates my experience with God is his word and his promise to me. And his promise to me is that he never leaves me nor forsakes me. He is abiding in me. He lives within me. His presence is always with me. And that is what I build my life on.